welcome back to the channel, everyone. Manny B investing in B I, and we've got a new post from uh, Autism Capital. A statement from Maxine Waters regarding SBF. The news, of course, that he's been arrested. So let's take a look at the statement. This is from um, a finance uh, Twitter account that I've been following recently. They are kind of based, so uh, if you're going to follow a lot of my sources that you see in my videos, just, uh, you know, be aware. So, Washington, D.C., following news of Sam Bankman Freed was arrested in the Bahamas, Congresswoman Maxine Waters, a Democrat from Crapifornia, Chairman of the House Financial Services Committee, released the following statement. My statement is, how is this person, the chairwoman of the House Finance uh, financial Services Committee. That's insane. Uh, this this woman is on video asking people to attack members of an opposing political party because they disagree with them. On video, saying calling to violence, and was not was not censored by Twitter when this happened. Uh, and I think the video is still up actually. I am surprised to hear that Sam Bankman Freed was arrested in the Bahamas at the direction of the United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York. Oh, I thought they were all on the same page. Uh, it's about time the, pro the process to bring Mr. Bankman Freed to justice has begun. However, as the public knows, my staff and I have been working diligently for the past month to secure Mr. Bankman's testimony before our committee tomorrow morning. No, she wasn't. We received confirmation this afternoon from Mr. Bankman Freed and his lawyers that they that he was still planning to appear before the committee tomorrow, but then he was arrested. Although Mr. Bankman Freed must be held accountable, the American public deserves to hear directly from Mr. Bankman Freed about the actions that, that have harmed over one million people and wiped out the hard earned life savings of so many. It's a weird statement that they're constantly saying, right? The public has been waiting eagerly to get these answers under oath before Congress. And the timing of this arrest denies the public this opportunity. And by public, she means herself. Uh, while I am disappointed that we will not be able to hear from Mr. Bankman Free tomorrow, we remain committed to getting to the bottom of what happened. And the committee looks forward to beginning our investigation by hearing from Mr. John Ray the third tomorrow. John Ray the third is the current FTX CEO that replaced Sam Bankman Freed. I don't know what kind of information he's going to be providing. Um, he has he has everything. He has all the records. He has all the details. So, I mean, it just really just depends on what he's doing, what his purpose is. Uh, is he is he looking to bring FTX back? Is he a babysitter? Uh, what is his goal? I guess maybe we'll find out tomorrow. Uh, but I don't know what the guy's goal is, and I don't really know. Uh, where this is headed, I don't know if he's going to be, he's going to pull, you know, what the social media executives pulled when they spoke to Congress about, you know, with the Twitter leaks now, we know that they all pretty much lied. Uh, they colluded with everyone imaginable to get their story straight. Um, I imagine that it's probably going to be that because that's typically what it is. I'd be shocked if we get any real answers from John Ray, any new clarity Anything that we haven't already known, either by gut instinct or from SBF rattling on on uh, Twitter spaces for the last couple of weeks here. But uh, yeah, well, how do you guys feel about all of this? Are you going to check out the, the committee tomorrow? Are you going to be looking for video, live streams, clips, uh, exciting clips? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, uh, I'll get some exciting clips out of it. That'll be, that'll be funny to see what kind of, uh, viral viral uh, statements we can get images etc from this uh, ordeal tomorrow and hopefully we get an unsealed uh we get the uh what is it unseal the the documents his indictment hopefully we get that tomorrow looks like uh the new york times has some details on it and it le released his charges that we're expecting him to be charged with uh but we he isn't even extradited uh, we got a guy here in the comments saying that they sent a, a private jet there. I don't know if this is real or what, but they're saying that they sent a private jet uh, and it went to Nassau uh, at 6 uh, p.m. Eastern. I don't know. Maybe maybe he's already in the United States. We have no clue. We don't know. We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. 
So make sure you hit that like, hit that share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.